Hi, I'm the Indiana James and welcome to Segovia. Segovia, what can I say? There's so much history, culture, architecture, and cuisine that it is impossible to summarize in one video. You have the mighty Cathedral of Segovia, which is widely known for its flying buttresses and last Gothic style church built in all of Spain. The Church of San Miguel, where Isabel I became queen. The old Jewish quarters, the impenetrable wall, parks, rivers, food, cave systems, dungeons, mythical tales, and the famous castle of Segovia, which helped inspire Walt Disney's Cinderella Castle. So let's section this out. What is Segovia? Segovia was a strategic military post for the Roman Empire. With geographical and natural defenses such as rivers and mountain cliffs, it had everything that the Romans looked for in an outpost. However, it lacked the sufficient amount of water that was needed. Located about an hour north of Madrid, Segovia drew its power from strategic positioning, impenetrable defenses with the source of life, fresh water, that was drawn from the nearby snow-capped mountains. These mountains lay over 20-odd miles away from Segovia. An extraordinary construction project had to take place to bring the fresh waters of the mountains to the heart of this intimidating fortress in the town of Segovia. If one could label the heart of Segovia, they would point out the Roman aqueduct. Just like an artery in the human body, this vein brought the essence of life to a fortress that would not have existed without precision, mathematics, and a dedicated workforce to the cause. This massive structure is one of the most impressive Roman aqueducts that still stands the test of time. The Romans were masters of construction and engineering. At its tallest point, this structure reaches just over 93 feet into the sky, and not even one type of mortar or any type of cement was used in the construction. Only the fine point the precision of workmanship. So why such a large aqueduct? Everyone knows that water cannot naturally run uphill, but many don't think about how to get water across hills and valleys. With an open channel, one must build the duct where the water is naturally running downhill at a constant speed which is controlled by a constant decline slope. Building such an object over miles and miles demands precision calculations in the mathematics and with the building materials themselves. So what is Segovia? It is a town like no other.